Hi everyone, we're going to show you what skills it takes to be able to catch a ball. Look at that, it takes two hands coordinated, a strong, stable, still body and eyes that are looking and focusing. Okay, now for some kids, it's really tricky to catch a ball and either their startle reflex is really strong or they know their two hands aren't coordinated. So they block their face when the ball comes towards them. And when this happens over and over again, they learn that catching a ball is not really fun and it's actually quite scary and they stop trying. So we don't want that because ball skills are fabulous to have and um, they're so useful and um, it's great fun to be able to throw and catch a ball with each other or just yourself. So what we're going to do is break this skill down. Maybe this child needs to learn by sitting down and having a bigger ball rolled to them. And that way they get to look and get their two hands coordinated and the ball comes slowly towards them and they learn it's not scary it's actually fun okay so that's a big target that's easy now what about a smaller ball and you roll it to them well done two hands are coordinated eyes are looking not scared anymore a little bit faster good job okay now standing up what we're trying to teach is catching, right? So it doesn't have to be a ball. It could be a scarf. Here you go. Well done. Not scary, even if it falls on your face, is it? Because it's lovely and soft. And your ability to catch that, your success rate is really high. Well done. Okay, what about something like a swimming pool ring? How about that? Easy to catch? Not if you're filming. <laughs> well done. Easy to catch. How about a blown up beach ball? Well done. Easy to catch. And so what about a balloon? It moves a bit slower. It gives you a chance to get to it. And it's not scary unless of course you're scared of it popping. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well done. There you go. So these are ways that you can practice. And then finally, after you've practiced a lot with different things, you'll be able to catch a ball. And look at the way you have to stand. Your eyes have to be ready, following. You judge when the ball is about to come to you. You're leaning forward, balancing on your two legs. And two hands are ready to catch. Good job.